Yo, what's up screen printers? It's Corey here at Floodway. I'm sitting in front of the computer today because I want to show you a script for Adobe Illustrator that's going to help place your reg marks, your center lines, your swatch labels, all that good stuff in just a matter of seconds to save you all that pixel pushing. Now, I'm really excited about this plugin. I'm pumped to show it. So let's just dive right in. Okay, so let's get started here. You see I've got a great vectorized file. It's got spot colors applied to all of these shapes. So it's pretty much ready to go except for the registration marks and the labels. Now I got this script on a single button keyboard shortcut and what it does is it pops up this panel. First thing, you can choose which position you want your reg marks, right? And then you can choose your swatch labels. Now you can edit these mesh counts by clicking here and you can make them pretty much anything you want and then select them. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna put this label on the screen with the spot color. You see it pulled the spot colors from here. Now the first setting I wanna talk about on the extras is remove unused swatches. I had that selected, so it deleted all the extra swatches. Next one, we can get it to add two millimeters of padding around the artboard, which is good for film output if it is ganging them up and putting the designs too close together. And then we also have fit to artwork bounds. We can add halftone range and we can add the file name. So I'm gonna hit process. And that's how it works. Check this out. So it's got all the labels on here. The registration marks and the file name are in registration black. So they are going to print on every screen. It's got the labels here along with the mesh counts for each color, each swatch, and all the reg marks in the places I selected. And also has the halftone bar if we look down here. Now, the last thing I want to show is how it's going to look when you receive the folder because it has reg mark file in it and it also has center mark files and the halftone bar and you can replace these, you can customize them. And it's gonna take this file and put it onto your art. So lots of customization available, tons of time saved. It's just gonna save all this pixel pushing. You can realistically apply this in 10 seconds once you have your default set up and then be good to go, boom ready to print. So that's pretty much it. And like I said, I'm pumped to put this into the wild. So please let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any questions, especially about setting this up and making it fit your workflow. Cause I know it's not for everybody, but this whole spot color vector flow into a rip like AccuRip is what I found to be the simplest and most consistent method to get art onto the screen. So thanks again for watching, showing interest, leaving comments, subscribing, all that stuff. I really do appreciate it. I'll catch you next time with my next improvement to the screen printing process.